So you are saying that we're in an emotional recession. Explain. Why do you say that? What are you seeing in the data? I think it's helpful to consider what an economic recession is. So in economic recession, economists would say it's a sustained contraction of the output of the economy. And that includes things like it's harder to find money, there tends to be more unemployment, there's less of the capital that is the engine of the economy. An emotional recession is a sustained contraction of the input to the economy. And that's the human energy that makes the economy, makes society work. So in emotional recession, instead of a shortage of cash, there's a shortage of, of motivation, of drive, of energy. Instead of you know interest rates going up, what we see is conflict rates are going up. Mm -hmm. Instead of in an economic recession, we have unemployment. In, a, in an emotional recession, we have isolation. And so we have this kind of disconnection and this inability to switch metaphors for a moment. The car, we've got this engine revving, the tires are spinning, but the car's not really moving. And so we're not able to kind of translate that human energy into productivity, into health, into thriving.